Welcome, it's Street Talk with Loretta Rose. On today's show, my special guest is gonna tell you about a community event that is coming and you don't wanna miss it. I have a question for you. Do you like to shop? Do you like to network? Do you like to spend money? Well, the community event that is coming here you don't want to miss it. Stick around. We have Candace on today's show, and she's going to tell you about a Black Friday pop-up shop. It's Street Talk with Loretta Rose. You're watching here on Bean TV. and thank you so much for joining us on today's show. I love this time of the year because we see a lot of holiday specials and my guest is on to share with you a community event that you are a part of. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Candace Robin D. Davis. Thank you. Thank you, <laughs> thank you. It's a pleasure to finally meet you. You are absolutely gorgeous. Thank you, so are you, so are you. <laughs> thank you, so wow. Black Friday pop-up shop. Yes. I've heard about it, never been to one. And what really gets me is this is the 10th annual. 10th year, so you have to come this time. Absolutely. <laughs> so tell us, what is Black Friday pop-up shop? Yes, so the Black Friday pop-up shop is a reoccurring event that's really for the community. It's a way to keep funds in the community instead mm -hmm. of the, the big box stores on Black Friday. Oh. Oh, all right, mm -hmm. so keep it right here in the community. Yes. So tell me your role with this great event. Absolutely, so I am the co-host alongside Michael So Muhammad from K92.7. Yes. Um, we're really excited to be back again for year 10. Awesome, and uh, you all host hosted last year? Yes, well? we've hosted for the last three years. Oh, wow, yes. so y'all gonna have a grand time. Absolutely. So <laughs> I love the theme, empower, shop, and thrive. Yes. That's powerful. It is. It is. So the fact that we have 50 vendors kind of echoes that powerful impact that we'll have on the community. So as far as the word empower, instead of this just being a pop-up shop, it's now a business expo. Mm -hmm. It's expanded over the years. So we want to empower those businesses wow. to thrive, which is the last word. And then, of course, come shop. I love <laughs> it. I love it. Wow. This year, you all are at Warehouse Nine. Warehouse 9, yes. The address is 920 9th Street in Columbus, Georgia. Warehouse 9, so excited. So it's going to be indoor, outdoor, or both? Both. 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 <laughs> yes. Wow. I love it. I love it. And I, I heard you're going to have food trucks there we as well. Will. We have some great food trucks. We have other food vendors like desserts as well. It's a plethora of vendors to choose from. Not just product-based, but also service-based. Ooh, wow. Mm -hmm. This is going to be interesting. I yes. love it. So vendors. Vendors, is it still opportunity for vendors to be a part? Yes, so indoor vending is completely sold out. However, we do have slots available outdoors, so sign up. Today. Wow, so <laughs> since Candace is on here giving you the VIP yes. and the exclusive <laughs> interview, thanks to her and Michael Soul, mm -hmm. if you want to be a vendor, let, let them know. How can they contact you? You can actually email me today, right now, at info at unfurl, that's U-N-F-U. URL with Robin.com. Wow, now you know they're going to sell out. So you better go ahead and get it while you can. You're almost there. Wow, <laughs> so this is going to be awesome. Um, what is different from this year versus last year? Because I heard last year was awesome, entertaining and all of that. It was. Well, we do have a location change. That's one big thing. But another thing is the entertainment. Mm -hmm. We'll have a live lip sync battle going on right during the pop-up shop. Oh, wow. Oh, now that's going <laughs> to be interesting oh yes <laughs> tell us tell us just give us a little tease just a little tease. just a little tease okay so pretty much they get in full costume of two characters mm. this year it will be Ludacris versus Buster Rhymes so I'm excited come on, Ludis, Ludacris come on come on through <laughs> super excited so shout out to Wayne Wee and his team for getting that together I love it that is 
is awesome. That yes. is going to be phenomenal. So for those that want to be a vendor, jump on it, contact them yes. ASAP. This is going to be Friday, November 29th, and the time is 10 a.m. to 2 p.m., and that's Eastern. Yes. So don't miss it. So what are you most excited about with this event? Oh, well, just pouring back into teenagers. So mm -hmm. one special part we have about it is teen entrepreneurs. Wow. We'll have a section just for them. And this year, guys, we have six. We have six oh, teen wow. vendor, um, vendors. We're excited about it. The community actually sponsored three of them. So they didn't oh, even have to wow. pay. So I'm just excited to pour back, starting with the youth and adults who own small businesses. So how did this all get started? It started 10 years ago. 10 years. And I just found out last year <laughs> after the fact but how did it get started yes so I will have to speak on the founder Tiffany Mitchell she's amazing um, I believe she had this thought of just pouring back into the community versus big box stores on the day after Thanksgiving so she started this at the Liberty Theater hence why we are showing homage we're taking it back to that area warehouse nine and yeah just as found That's amazing yeah. Tiffany you got to come on the show and help the community <laughs> Community, connect more with who you are because yes. I would love to meet you as well this is an awesome vision yes right yes. here in our Tri-City community I love it you do a lot of things here in this community we yes. know Michael soul on 92.7 he's a radio personality yes. actually a legendary radio <laughs> personality shout out to him yes. he will be here today but I believe he's on air at this time he is. <laughs> so um, Candace is, is she's repping for you and then in the, in the the team what do you do because you do a lot here in this community as well yeah well I'm a small business owner as well um, that's actually how I found out about this pop-up shop um, opportunity because I vended myself um, my business is unfurl um, and what that is it we specialize in displaying the vision of your business digitally so oh. yeah social media marketing SEO optimization we do it all well hello <laughs> hello <laughs> You. Well, for those that may want your services, how do they find you and contact you? Yeah, the same way, really, that email address, info at unfurlwithrobin.com. We're on all socials under Unfurl with Robin. Robin, you look so young. How long have <laughs> you been in this industry? Well, I've only been doing it about four years. Um, when everything happened with the pandemic, um, it allowed me to operate in a different purpose. Oh, wow. Um, I was furloughed, and then I started this business, which is, I'm a marketing major, so it worked out perfectly. Perfectly. You do a great job. Thank you. I am so <laughs> excited. And it's an honor to finally meet you. I love the fact that you share your experience. You were a vendor. Yes. And that's how you got involved. Yes. And events like this help you to get connected to your community Absolutely. in the small businesses that is right here in your community. Yes. And then I love the fact that you're supporting locally right here. Yes. And it's going right back in the community. Absolutely. And not just here in the Tri-City area. I'm one of our sponsors, the West Georgia Farmers Co Cooperative, they're in LaGrange and they have business owners just within that entity yeah. that's everywhere. Atlanta, LaGrange, here in Columbus, so it's beautiful. And you're right. Yeah. They've been on the show as well. I love that. I love that community partnership. Oh, yes. That is exactly what's happening. Give another shout out to your sponsors. Oh, absolutely. I would have to shout out the Honorable Kevin Smyre. Um, of course, he just concluded the Fountain City Classic, um, but yes, thank Thank you for your sponsorship. We have so many more and I'm so happy to shout them out. Um, we have the New York Vintage Fund. They actually just had their grand opening this weekend. Oh, wow. Yeah, in downtown. Um, we have the Prestige Family Medicine with Dr. Shika Shaw. Uh, we also have the Urban, the Urban League of River Valley. Awesome. We have quite a few guys. Travis Chambers, Clean Sweep Effect, Faith Inc., Teddy Brees, wow. Coco Creations, the list goes on. Amazing. Mm -hmm. Shout out to all of them and they are amazing here yes. in our local community. I'm excited. Me too. <laughs> November 29th is Friday, the day after Thanksgiving. Yes. 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at Warehouse 9. Yes. Let's give them that address again. Yes, so the, where, the um, address for Warehouse 9 is 920 9th Street, right here in Columbus, Georgia, 31901. All right, so make sure, it's going to be a sellout, but make sure you contact Michael Soul or Candace ASAP. Yes. 
Focus has, they have limited space for vendors yes. and it's, it's going to be a total sellout. Give us that email address again. Absolutely. So guys, you can contact me with my email, which is info at unfurl, that's U-N-F-U-R-L, with Robin.com. All right. So as we get ready to close out, Candice, you have been so amazing. I would like Thank for you. you to invite the entire community, speak from your heart to the people, inviting them to come out to Black Friday pop-up shop. Guys, I humbly ask you to come out and support this amazing event for the Tri-City area. When I say it's time for you to literally pour back into the community, it's a beautiful thing. Be empowered, shop, and thrive. Oh, I love it. It's Street Talk with Loretta Rose. You've been watching here on Bean TV. Don't miss it. Thanks for watching.